हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अकुल मैक लाइव एंड आई एम योर फ्रेंड चंद्रकांत यू नो दैट वी आर एक्चुअली डूइंग अ सीरीज ऑन ग्राफो एनालिसिस एंड ग्राफो थेरेपी एंड टुडे आई विल बी जॉइंड बाय मिस्टर नवीन तोशनीवाल हु इज अ सीईओ ऑफ अ वेरी बिग इंडस्ट्री बट दिस इज अ स्पेशल एंड यू नो वी विल लर्न मोर अबाउट इट सो विदाउट फर्दर अडो लेट्स वेलकम नवीन टू द शो हेलो एवरीवन हेलो चंद्रकांत जी सो नवीन वेलकम टू द शो लास्ट वीक वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ ग्राफो एनालिसिस कैन बी डन जस्ट बाय लुकिंग एट द हैंड राइटिंग सो टुडे व्हाट आर वी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ आवर ऑडियंस आई कैन शो यू सम चार्ट्स हाउ पर्टिकुलर स्ट्रोक्स can be analyzed and what is the character which can be analyzed through those particular strokes so we can proceed that way certainly uh, navin for the benefit of viewers who missed our session last week grapho therapy is uh, or grapho analysis is a science by which you can actually analyze the hand handwritten documents of people and then uh, profile them in terms of their character in terms of their habits in terms of how work uh, you know workaholic they are how loyal they are and there are so many other factors you can find out and uh, so if you want to know more about it you can actually watch our previous videos but today i think uh, navin ji will tell us more about certain strokes which helps him determine the character of the person over to you navin yeah so i'll i'll show you two charts today one relates to the upper strokes another one relates to the lower strokes and maybe some round letters now see here you will see some upper strokes which i have made like this is uh, h l then l written in another way then this is b t so this will these are normally the upper strokes which we make now if there is a loop in the upper stroke like this this indicates that the person is sensitive now sensitive can be defined in two ways one is a person who is touchy who will get hurt very easily even if someone does not want to hurt even if someone tells jokingly something the person may take it to heart bigger the loop more sensitive the person is now uh, another point is the length of the upper strokes longer the upper strokes it indicates person who has got vanity or pride a short upper stroke indicates person who is independent and independent not only in the literal way independent also means a person who is not bothered about other people criticizing them suppose someone is saying ki humko to ye karna hai and you come and say are ye sab kyon kar rahe ho you are wasting time i would say no no i know what i am doing you mind your business and let me do what i am doing that also independent now sensitive also has another meaning a person who is compassionate is also sensitive so these big upper loops indicating sensitivity may imply person who is touchy or who is uh, 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 i should say compassionate or both okay now i will come to some round letters a's and o's are having round shape now this is a normal a and this one is a normal o which we were taught to write in school now here you see there is a gap at the top in the o and here also in the a there is a gap if there is a gap like this in any of the round letters it indicates a person who is frank or friendly obviously a person who is frank will tend to be friendly such open round letters indicate the level of friendliness or talkativeness uh, of a person now here you will see there is a loop here there is a small loop 
here there is a bigger loop loop indicates secretiveness a person who has a bigger loop indicates a uh, sensitivity to uh, uh, secretiveness to a higher extent now if this sort of stroke appears in a child i would probably say it is a negative stroke because if children don't share with us how can we uh, judge what is going on in their mind and how can we guide them so uh, okay now in our case where we are mature enough this sort of uh, loops may also have a positive angle don't you think a person who is secretive is also uh, trustworthy a person who can be trusted upon वो जल्दी से हर किसी से हर कोई बात नहीं करेंगे उनको मालूम है क्या चीज किसको बोलना है किससे बात करनी है सो दिस इज अ स्ट्रोक ऑफ सीक्रेटिवनेस और ट्रस्टवर्दीनेस और बोथ नाउ लेट अस गो इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन सो हियर यू विल सी दैट दैट इज अ वेरी बिग लूप इन द ओ व्हिच इंडिकेट्स अ पर्सन इज वेरी सीक्रेटिव ओके नाउ हियर यू सी हियर देयर इज अ डबल लूप इन द ओ here also there is a double loop in the beginning and in the ending this is a slightly dangerous stroke this indicates a person who is having deceit or dishonesty so you should be very careful with such people when you are employing them make sure they are not employed in the accounts record department <laughs> otherwise you can be in for trouble okay now i will show you some lower loops lower strokes here there is a straight down ending stroke here there is a small loop a straight down stroke indicates a person with a strong determination a small loop like this indicates a person who is choosy or selective even narrow loop like this indicates a choosy person now here there is a loop completed loop and here there is a bigger loop a lower loop completed big lower loop indicates person who is having a very creative mind and a good imagination now here you will see the why is loop is incomplete it is only half way through this indicates a person who is creative but not using the creativity to full extent like you know we are in our childhood we might be fond of pursuing art dance music but because of professional obligations we are not able to do it then you may tend to find this sort of half strokes where the person wants to do or pursue his creativity but is unable to do it so it is there in the mind so this sort of strokes will come creativity can also be related to your work if if you have a work where creativity is required then this sort of full loops will help you to utilize the creativity to full extent now here you will see a loop in the form of a eight this sort of loop indicates person who has a fluidity of thinking very crystal clear about the thoughts a very good planner okay now here you see there is a stroke which is swinging forward a straight down and then swinging forward this sort of swinging stroke indicates a good initiative a person who has good initiative and ability to initiate new things so this will give you some idea about the loops upper loops lower loops and round letters so maybe in the next one we will go in for about some other strokes well uh, navin ji when you are showing all these things and it's nothing but identification or certain pattern in 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 the handwriting um i'm not sure whether you can answer my next question but nevertheless let me ask you see uh, there is a, a technology called oss developed by microsoft many many years back you know it's a, like a very old thing it is not something new which identifies the language and then uh, in fact if you see the translators uh, you can type it uh, any language and it will immediately identify the language and give you a translated version so that is ex uh, exactly what it is so it's using the microsoft technology uh, however uh, when we look at the indian uh, uh, you know way of uh, managing data today there are millions of people need to be paid and there are millions of uh, these uh, uh, daily wages need to be paid and for those payments there are salary stubs being produced so people carry these stubs they actually show it 
and it is uh, carried into a some sort of system and the money is paid out by the finance department so the identification for the software is the typed met message they, they can see uh, the name is chandrakan salary has to be paid 1000 rupees for his day work and so much money has been paid has to has to be captured in the uh, system the problem comes when there are handwritten stubs if it is a typed stub no problem when there is a handwritten where is somebody has written chandrakan and 1000 rupees in english or hindi or some language this is where the system fails because it is next to impossible i mean we have done lot of r and d so far in my uh, when i used to work for various corporates we have this was a major problem in india which is yet not solved people uh, there, there is no system available today which can identify handwritten document and capture it convert that document into english so that it can be captured into database there is no such technology available right now because each guy will write 1000 rupees in his own way so i understand the complexity the the fact of the matter is i gave you such a long story just to tell you that how impressed i am by when you talk about these strokes and you say that if you do this if this is round then this is uh, this is the meaning of that uh, the machines the computers are not able to decipher the language handwritten document a plain english document for there is no fail proof also for such a advanced technology whereas you are talking about identifying the character of the person just by looking at his handwriting not even by looking at him uh so i find it very intriguing do you have any explanation on that see actually just look at it this way every person in the world has a unique handwriting i don't think you will find any two people in the world who have identical handwriting see that itself explains the uniqueness of each person and the uniqueness of the strokes which each per each person has so it is the uh, uh, character of the personality which is defined by individual strokes and you know as i told you in the first episode it is a proven science from the time of aristotle it has been deciphered and proven that handwriting has a direct link with the mind and handwriting is actually mind writing so when we consciously make some stroke changes uh in our handwriting it directly impacts the subconscious to bring the relevant changes or the desired changes in you well i think uh, this is quite interesting and i said that uh, because i was intrigued about identification where whereas the super computers are not able to do it whatever the technology many people have tried at least in the it world they have all failed uh, so i think this is very interesting when uh, you know we can identify the nature of the person just by looking at the handwriting and it has been proven i think it's very surprising a uh, lot of people should be told about it because i think not enough information is available especially in india so you coming over to our show and uh, telling us about it it's very 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 um, eye opener kind of a thing for us i really appreciate uh, your participation in the show so uh, thank you so much for joining us today but i think next week we will take it forward and talk about even more interesting things isn't it uh, nami yes definitely definitely we will uh, after a couple of episodes we can even do a live analysis you can show me a handwriting on the screen and we can do a live analysis that what this person is about great navin so thank you so much for joining us uh, this week and telling small small bits uh, uh, to our viewers uh, just to uh, you know arouse some interest in them uh, but it's a very big uh, very complicated science uh, no doubt about it the way you are presenting it sounds very simple but it could be very very complicated so thank you so much navin for joining us this week Thank you so much. Thank you. Good day. So viewers, did you hear uh, such uh, you know good amazing things from Naveen? Uh, actually, we are telling uh, right now the basics of 
the grapho analysis and eventually this uh, technique can be used to do a cure to uh, to uh, can be uh, used as a therapy so we are moving towards that don't miss out our sessions because this is going to be very very informative and very very intuitive for you in future i will say goodbye today only to catch you in the next one Thank <laughs> you.